Hello guys, it's me Madhun here again today. Today I would be reviewing another Dayton ink. It's the Dayton Turquoise Blue. This ink. This is a pretty popular Dayton ink. Uh, I don't know why. Perhaps because it's turquoise and it's blue. This ink I found is not exactly a turquoise, but it's more of a vibrant blue. With a little bit of sign in it. So the papers I used for this review are Rhodia 80 GSM. This is a replacement for Nightingale 80 GSM I used to use. Muji paper, this is, I don't know paper weight or anything, it's all written in Japanese. But this is a replacement for the cheap cube works paper I used to use. And lastly, this is JK Cedar. Okay, so firstly, I would start with the Muji paper. And yes, before I start, the pens used were these Pilot Tank ED with a medium nib, but it's basically a fine and ASA popsicle with a Kashmir broad now the popsicle and the pilot both are pretty wet pens for what they are but still anyways uh, let's start with the Muji paper first this paper is not exactly very thick it is rather thin and it is cream colored so it is not exactly fountain print friendly either as you can see perhaps there is a lot of feathering even with the fine nib and the drying time was 2 seconds with the pilot as for the color it, you know, it, the ink on this paper for me doesn't do it okay it's just either too dull it's too patchy it just feathers a lot 3 seconds to dry on uh, with the broad nib then uh, it's not exactly an ink which I would like to use on this paper however the water resistance is pretty high now I don't know how well you can see this but it did feather a lot in the water test and also the bleed through it's pretty significant you can use it both sides but then you have to make sure that you basically put a lot of concentration when reading it Okay, now second paper I used was JK Cedar, this is 100GSM, very thick paper and very fountain pen, friend, fountain pen friendly according to a lot of people, but not according to me. So this is for the Schmidt Broad, very wet pen, very wet nib. You can see that it is better on this paper but still it is a bit patchy here. I, I just don't know why it is so, I mean, seriously, it's pretty patchy here as well. And even on this paper, there was a little bit of feathering. I don't know how or why. And then there was also a little bit of bleed through. But then again, you have to keep in mind this is a very, very wet pen. Now the the fine nib, however, it is pretty usable. It is a bit patchy still, but since it's so fine, the patchiness is not easily visible. With the broad nib, it took four seconds to dry, and with the fine nib, it took three seconds to dry. And for the water test, it performed pretty well here. Not a lot of feathering or bleeding actually. But a lot of bleeding because after all, I did a water test but not a lot of feathering. So as for the overall scores, for flow I would give it 11 out of 10. Ink flows very very well, better than Royal Blue. As for the performance, you saw the performance on cheap paper. Okay. Ease of clean, it is not Brill Royal Blue guys. Staining, it does not stain exactly but if you leave it in your pen for like a couple of weeks, it starts to stain. As for clogging and formation of crud, none but I still gave it a 9 because I don't know how well you guys would be able to see this but there's a little bit formation of crud but it has been in this pen for like months, like 2 months now almost. Anyways. Water resistance, I gave it 9 out of 10. I could have given it a 10 out of 10, but then for me, 10 out of 10 is basically gel pen ink. Mm. For drying, I don't know why I've written a 7. It shouldn't be 7. It should be a, a 9, not a 7. You saw it dries pretty, pretty, pretty fast. Now, uh, another light writing sample, just like that. And now I'll give you a live writing sample. Just so you know how this performs in real life. Mm. 
my handwriting is pretty horrible. I just, I hand, you know, I, just, I recently met with a small accident, so I've got hurt on my hand. Now you must be wondering, I mentioned Rodia but I did not show you Rodia yet because I have not performed all these tests which I did with these papers. I have just written down a piece of writing on Rodia this, just to show you the sheen which it has a little bit. The sheen, not much. Very little bit of sheen just in that D. Otherwise, you know, on Rodia, I just don't know why, but perhaps I got a bad copy of a uh, Rodia notebook. But all the inks, they're a bit too dull on Rodia. I don't know why, because that's turquoise, that's blue suede. Doesn't exactly look like it, right guys? This is pelican blue black, and then this is waterman black. All the inks, they're a bit too dull on Rodia for me. Anyways. So that's all I have for this review. If you have any questions guys, please feel free to contact me. If you have any queries, you can put them in the comments below or if you want, you can put them on YouTube Messenger. So that's all I have for today. I'll see you next time.